Following my visit to the fantastic medieval parish church in the Suffolk village of Woolpit last month, the very next day in that trip away, I visited another bucket list church for me in the village of Horsham St Faith, five miles north of Norwich. This Norfolk church is not dedicated to St Faith, as you might think. Rather, it is dedicated to St Mary and St Andrew. The parish was home, though, to the Priory of St Faith, which partly survives as a private dwelling to the north of the parish church. St Mary and St Andrew's Parish Church is a handsome hodgepodge of medieval and later rebuilding. I appreciate the character of a church which is not completely of one single built phase or architectural style, and what may look a little rough around the edges here is well ordered inside. The church has been reordered with great success, I knew nothing about its interior arrangement or modern facilities before I turned the door handle and stepped foot into the nave of this building. Medieval treasures abound, and treasures these truly are. I don't like to overuse the word church treasures, but in this case, it is the exception. There are certainly some treasures here. Of everything to see inside this church, I was most excited to see the pre-Reformation pulpit with painted panels. Some of the figures around the pulpit include the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Faith, Thomas of Canterbury, Saint Christopher, Saint Andrew, John the Evangelist, John the Baptist and Saint Stephen. My highlight was at the feet of the Blessed Virgin. Kneeling in prayer is a clerk with a scroll reading, Merciful Lady, Queen of Heaven, keep me from the deadly seven sins. You may also have spotted the painted chancel screen, which can be dated to 1528, also with painted panels. It is quite compact, with six figures on each side of the screen, and which have all remarkably survived despite being mutilated in centuries past. Simon Knott's entry for this church on the Norfolk Church's website dives into the iconography and interpretation of those figures accounted for in these painted panels in great detail. Heading eastward still, beyond the painted screen, up the single sanctuary step into the chancel, you will find the 15th century brass of a Norfolk cleric. It depicts Geoffrey Langley, who was one time a prior of Horsham St Faith and who died in 1437. Interestingly, this monumental brass was not originally in this church, but at St Lawrence in the city of Norwich. It was brought here when that church was declared redundant in the 1970s. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to bringing you with me on another walk or a visit to a historic church very soon. Please like and subscribe for more content, and see you in another video.